بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل آئی ہیو ریسیوڈ سم کامنٹس اینڈ ای میلس اباؤٹ ڈرائنگ دی اسٹرکچرز آف میٹل کمپلیکسز وچ سم پیپل فائنڈ اٹ اے بٹ ہارڈ سو آئی ایم میکنگ دس ویڈیو ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو ڈرا اے میٹل کمپلیکس ان ان این ایزی وے سو سم پرسن سینٹ می دس دس میٹل کمپلیکس and asked uh, to make a video on this so i'm taking it as an example uh, to show you how to draw such kind of complexes very easily so just have a look at the metal complex uh, here is copper metal and uh, it is coordinating to two different ligands and both are bidentate ligands so in this case uh, first i'll try to make this fragment which is attached to copper uh, on both sides and then Uh, I'll complete the rest of the ligand structure. So let's start with the the top one, the pyridine fragment. So I'll just take uh, pyridine from here and draw it over here. Now let's add this uh, C double bond NH group on this pyridine, and for that I'll select the carbon and uh, this trivalent carbon. now you can see that uh, oops sorry here is the c double bond and uh, on top of double bond i'll add the nitrogen so if i add nitrogen here it has added the c double bond nh so actually it has added nh2 i don't know why so i'll just delete one hydrogen and uh, leave the other one at the moment so now it is the time to add copper um, between these two nitrogens and then to balance both of them so let's add copper here first so what i'll do is i'll add a hydrogen on this nitrogen and then replace this hydrogen with copper so that will attach copper to the nitrogen directly instead of drawing it and manually attaching it so i'm going to select copper now there are different kinds of copper so this is uh, i believe it's a square planar or distorted square planar complex so i'll just uh, select square planar copper and then click on this hydrogen so it will add copper to this position now i will rotate this copper a little bit to bring it in front of the nitrogen so it attaches nicely to it so i'll just select the modify dihedral and uh, i'll modify this dihedral so the first groups i'll just fix them and rotate the next group so you can see that this way i can uh, rotate this carbon a copper hydrogen bond and i'll just bring it in in line so that i can attach it to the nitrogen easily now i'll bring this nitrogen into this line by rotating it so let's select this dihedral and uh, rotate this nitrogen to bring in front of copper so you can see that it's now in front of copper i'll just delete these two hydrogens and create a bond here okay now if i click on clean this structure so you can see that uh, let's yes so here is the clean button if i click clean you can also go to i think tools or builder and then select clean there is clean somewhere here yes it's an edit so it's over here as well so if you clean it you can see that the copper is nicely attached to this fragment and now uh, we can build the other fragment the uh, other ligand and attach it to these two positions as well so let's start building that fragment for that i'll start with this central nh so select the nitrogen and now i'll add the carbon that one here and here to both uh, both sides like this one and then to these positions i'll add the nitrogen again these two nitrogens next step is to add these two uh, 
nitrogen to the copper. So I'll press the Alt button and then I can rotate one fragment. So I'll press Alt and Shift and move it to one side, this fragment, and then by just moving this fragment and bringing it in front of the cob copper just to attach it with the copper so i'll just put it here uh, i don't really need to um, manually change these angles so much because the clean uh, clean button does it very well so what i'll do is i'll just delete these hydrogens and now these as well from copper and attach these nitrogens to copper using single bond, this bond, modify bond tool. So you can see that these bonds look quite long and awkward, but if I click the clean button, just have a look how beautifully it has cleaned the structure and uh, attached those nitrogens to copper. So now I have the basic fragment where I can, um, add the rest of the molecule like uh, OCH3 here to this side. Uh, so let's finish this NH3 first. So this is NH2 over here. I'll add it here. And then I'll take oxygen. Here is OCH3. And at this position as well, there was oxygen. Now complete it. Carbon. This is OCH3. And on this side, this one, OC4H9. So I'll just add four carbons. Uh, oops. So click one, two, three, and four, wherever you want to add. So now this structure is complete, and you can see that uh, you have completely drawn that complex. Uh, and after that, definitely you need to optimize it. So if copper was in plus two state, if you calculate, uh, optimize and uh, in methods, you can select whatever method you want. Just you have to add plus two charge here as well. So then you will be able to do the calculation correctly. If you don't add the charge, you will be ending up optimizing something else, not, not your compound where... Uh, that charge exists on the metal. So that was all about uh, how to draw metal complexes and sometimes uh, difficult looking metal complexes. I just need to clarify one more thing here that after optimization, sometimes you would see that uh, you, you don't have any bonds between the metal and the ligands. So there is no need to worry about it. It does not mean that there is no bond. Uh, actually, the bond length is a bit longer than the than the normal covalent radii of these uh, uh, atoms so that's why the software don't show bonds over there but it does not mean that that there is no bond or no bond exists over there so these uh, the bonds uh, as shown by the software they are shown on the basis of covalent radii so if the bond is a little bit longer than those covalent radii software won't show a bond there but it's nothing to worry about. So you can draw the bond manually if you want uh, to take a picture of that and use it anywhere. Uh, so that was all about drawing metal complexes. I hope uh, it will help you. And if you have any questions, you can post in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.